I'm going to be showing you the two best methods I've found for screen recording with a higher FOV than the provided preview window in most VR games. The first is Steam VR View, which when compared to the alternative has a slightly higher horizontal FOV and wider aspect ratio. Unlike the other, it works with any screen recording software with no download necessary. However, it has a lower vertical FOV than the alternative, as well as a lower resolution, a masking seam, and it requires an extra window that you need to keep open. The second is Open VR Capture, which has a higher vertical FOV and higher resolution than VR view. However, it's an OBS exclusive that requires a download and has a square aspect ratio, though the difference in aspect ratio is very minimal when it's cropped to match the same vertical FOV that VR view has. In order to set up VR view, you first need to launch Steam VR, and once it's open, click on the three lines at the top left of the menu. Then click on Display VR view in the drop down menu. This will open a small preview window docked to Steam VR, which you can either undock or full screen with the respective buttons at the top right. Once undocked or full screened, you can access the menu at the top left where for the highest horizontal FOV possible, you'll select both eyes followed by your dominant eye. Full screen is good for utilizing your monitor's full resolution since, while the alternative method uses the exact resolution of your VR headset, VR view is locked to your monitor's resolution. And while full screen offers the highest resolution and a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, you shouldn't use it if you want the highest vertical FOV possible. If you put VR view in windowed mode and resize the window, you'll notice that the FOV crop on each axis changes as the window is resized. The sweet spot to get both the highest vertical and horizontal horizontal FOV is right at the shift between where each axis is cropped. This is the highest horizontal FOV you can possibly have, the trade-off being that there is a masking seam that reveals itself when objects are a certain distance away from the camera due to the merging of the two angles. But let's say that you want to sacrifice a little bit of horizontal FOV for the maximum vertical FOV. Click on menu again and this time set it to your single dominant eye. You'll have to redo the cropping the same way as before, and once you do, you'll have almost the exact same FOV and aspect ratio as open VR capture, but most likely at a lower resolution. Once you've picked your desired layout, you can simply record the window with your screen recording software of choice. In this case, I'll use OBS. I'll first create a new source, and I like to use Game Capture. I'll change the mode to capture a specific window and then select VR Monitor EXE VR View. When using VR View, I uncheck Capture Cursor so if I leave it on the screen, it won't show up in my footage. I'll then click on OK and resize the window to fit the screen. If your scene has a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, you can either scale the window beyond the scene and right-click, transform, and center vertically, or you can hold Shift and click and drag to stretch your window to fit the screen. If you're wondering, VR view is supposedly the more computationally intensive of the two methods, but I haven't tested it myself. In order to use Open VR Capture, you have to have OBS version 24.0 or higher, as well as Steam VR. OBS can be downloaded from obsproject.com. If you already have OBS, navigate to the Open VR GitHub link in the description. Once on the page, locate the latest release of the plugin and scroll down under the Assets section. Here, you'll want to download the Open VR plugin zip file by simply left-clicking on it once. After it's downloaded, you want to open the zip file as well as a separate instance of File Explorer, where you'll navigate to your OBS Studio directory. This is typically located on your C drive, Program Files 86, OBS Studio, but it could be different if you chose to install it elsewhere. Once inside the OBS directory, you'll want to drag both the OBS plugins and data files from the downloaded zip into the OBS Studio file. If prompted, select Replace the files in the destination. Next, launch Steam VR, and once it's opened, you can launch OBS and click on Add a new source, where you should see Open VR Capture as an option. Name it as you wish, and then click OK. If you're right eye dominant, keep this checked. If you're left eye dominant, uncheck it. There's also a few presets for suggested cross based on various headsets. I leave it uncropped. Now it's time for you to get creative. You can scale and stretch the source to get a crop that suits your needs, or you can take advantage of the full FOV and fill the empty space with your webcam or something. I personally like to capture the source in its entirety and make those decisions in post. Just make sure that if you're doing that, you recorded a high enough resolution to not lose quality when you crop. If you really want to maximize horizontal FOV, you can also create two instances of the open VR capture source, one of the left eye and one of the right. Then in post, you can mask these together the way that Steam VR view does. This would be identical to the maximum FOV you actually see in headset, but I find capturing my single dominant eye to do the trick.